and they are on strike because they're demanding the better conditions of service which no one uh, is paying uh, listening uh, you know attentive attention to we're following through on that one now decades of seeking asylum in ghana as a result of a war has come to an end for liberians who occupied the budumbrum camp in the Gomwa East district of the central region, as several thousands of Liberian refugees are being evacuated to their native country. About 6,000 refugees are expected to be evacuated in the process. Central Regional Correspondent Aquisiado has more in the following reports. How they are going to be put in cheetahs, no good, so we will come back. Why are they going to break our house? Why is there somebody go sleep for a house and go break up? Where they know Where we? Me. You see me, you see my brother like this. We will be Ghanaians by birth. You see we like this, we will be Ghanaians by birth. Yeah. But then break our house, you don't get anywhere go, so what to go do? We go go home. I tell you. Yeah. These are Wusa Langa people show me. So if I catch in on my country, I go kick in. Me the whole world, yeah. If I catch in on Langa me in my country, or Wusa me, I go kill him. I will never come here again. He was too. We will not be back in Ghana. We are going to enjoy our country. We are having food. We are having rice. Thank you to our Liberia person. We love you. We are going to do good job in Liberia. Thank you. We are grateful to the government of Liberia with the cooperation of the government of Ghana. So as you can see, our people are going home happily. Uh, per the statistics that I have, we have 770 persons that are going, and by next week another group will be going. By following week another group will be going. But three trips. How many Liberians are here? Uh, per my data, I got 6,169 persons. 6,169 persons. These are people that were living here. These are people the chief of government fed them homeless. These are people the land got beat in the street, looted as in selling without intervention of any Ghana police. But today, see there, police are giving an escort. No, we were disgraced yesterday. Today, we are going to dignity. We are happy. Akwesiato joins us via phone for more on this. Akwesi, thank you for your time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nani. Thank you for having me. Right. I guess I was expecting a, 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 a you know, reaction of gratitude, you know, from uh, these refugees, but it looks like they are clearly unhappy about how they think Ghanaians have treated them. So the reaction of gratitude has been buried uh, by um, unhappiness, uh, given the manner in which the former refugees camp uh, was demolished and um, subsequent matters that followed. Um, we do recall that uh, after the demolition exercise, mm -hmm. these refugees have no option mm -hmm. but to occupy some classrooms. And then the government uh, took them to court. And so they are not happy about all these issues because they argued that um, the schools in um, Gomwa Budoboram presently were all built by the UN and other organizations uh, as a result of their presence in the community. And so um, they felt entitled to some of these facilities, yet they were denied them in, in the time of trouble. Mm. And so for over um, two months, we've had these people um, sleeping in the open spaces and virtually um, living their lives there. So, I, I, I mean, the two of them, there were some two who said that uh considering their age, they were born uh, or they're Ghanaians by birth. Persons like that, I mean, how do you think they're feeling now? Uh, they feel being rejected uh, by the country they belong to. And as a matter of fact, there are many of such people um, who are being evacuated now. Mm. Because, you know, it's been over um, 30 years when um, the refugees camp was actually established in Gomwa Budumbura. Mm -hmm. And so the primary refugees who occupied the area um, married, intermarried um, with Ghanaians and then um, gave birth to children. And all these children were occupying the refugees camp. And then um, the local authorities have the camp um, demolished, which means that uh, they have no place else uh, to go to. And so... Uh, what's the, do you, do you, are you privy to the arrangement between the Ghana government and the government of Liberia? Okay, so um, with regards to this um, particular exodus, um, I can say on authority that um, the Ghanaian government has had no stake in it. 
all the cost is being borne by the Liberian government. Okay. Um, per, the, per, per the conversations um, we've had with them. Oh, what um, the Ghanaian authorities are only doing is to ensure that um, they provide them with adequate security, even as they make their journey back home. Oh, I see. So, so how long is the evacuation period going to last? Uh, these buses that are moving, what's the period within which we're expecting this to end? Okay, so um, all things being equal, we should be looking between three weeks up to one month period. They expect that each day, uh, within, um, each week, we've had about, we have about seven uh, buses leaving uh, Bujumburam to um, Liberia. And so it was yesterday that uh, we had five to seven set of uh, buses leaving Liberia. So now we have uh, close to 1,000 um, Liberians being uh, on their way on their way back home. Uh, and so uh, within three to three weeks to one month, uh, we should expect that all the 6,161 Liberians uh, would leave the country. Do you know what the place is going to be used for? We know how congested it has been for over these 30 years. Uh, now that they're moving them out, what is the plan for that area? Okay, so the original plan that was announced by the traditional authorities was for the place to be used um, as a market. Uh, because traders in Bumwa have been affected uh, by the uh, ongoing expansion works on the Kaswa Winneba Highway. And so the authorities said they needed a place and for them. And in actual fact, I have seen uh, portions of the demolished area uh, being set up um, for that very purpose, Annie. Akwesiado, thank you so much for your time. Akwesiado is a central regional correspondent there, giving us the updates on the evacuation of the refugee Liberians.